Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're watching Dante's 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 Boxing Nation. What did you think about your boy Errol Spence's performance and how long do you think it would take for him to be ready to fight? Because they're calling you the future and they're calling him the future. Yeah, they're calling Or him. you're yeah, the yeah, past yeah. the future. Well, yeah. yeah, you know. At the end of the day, you know, Errol, Errol looked good. He looked sharp. You know what I mean? He got he got caught a little, but he wasn't within with a banger. It wasn't none, none too serious, and he was definitely never on the worst end of anything. You know what I'm saying? But um, but I give him, you know, like real, real, you know, logic, man. I still give him at least another another year with a with a quarter on it. You know what I'm saying? So possibly sometime in 2017 might be when it's realist. The real interesting thing is who's gonna be the first person to step to him, right? Because in reality, when he called me out, man, it was almost like one of his first, well, he was on NBC or something. Mm -hmm. It was like his, that's a good network, first major good network, right? Uh -huh. That was the same thing I did when I was on HBO and I called out Floyd. What did Floyd do? Act like he never heard the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm supposed to acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it just is what it is. Once when he once when he grabs a few stripes, you know what I mean, fights a few veteran, fights, you know, number nine, number eight, you know what I'm saying? I mean because I just I've I've gone up. I've gone up and up and up. You know what I mean? And you just you know, I, I try to shoot at the top dog. You just can't shoot at the top dog, man. You are reaching too far above yourself, you know what I mean? You gotta climb the ladder and and then go for the shot, you know what I'm saying? Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Boy, I'm telling you right now, it's getting hot as hell in that damn welterweight kitchen, ain't it? So as you guys seen in that clip, that was an interview I did with Keith Thurman over a year ago. I don't even remember if that was for the Robert Ghost Guerrero fight or if that was for the Leonard Bundu fight. But it was around that time and you heard what Keith Thurman said. He said, get a boy some time. He needs to step up in competition. Now keep in mind, this was before Errol Spence had knocked out Chris Algieri and obviously way before he just knocked out Bundu today. So now the question is, what does Keith Thurman think about Errol Spence now? By the way, that clip that you guys are looking at right now, that actually is after the Bundu fight. That's Keith Thurman talking immediately following the Leonard Bundu fight right there. You know, Keith Thurman, he actually said that he was going to be paying attention to this Bundu fight, this Spence versus Bundu fight, very closely. That's why I asked the question, what does he think about Errol Spence down? I mean, you know, the whole thing is Keith Thurman, he has always praised Errol Spence. At least he's given him the respect that he deserves. He just has always said, listen, let's build the fight up, etc., etc. Now that Errol Spence is knocking out opponents that Keith Thurman himself couldn't even knock out, I believe the perception by many now is clearly Errol Spence is ready for that Keith Thurman challenge. There's no doubt about it. And once again, like I just said in my post fight video, Right now, Errol Spence, he's focused on getting that uh, Kell Brook belt, the IBF welterweight belt. And I truly believe Kell Brook, he will vacate his belt before he fights against Errol Spence. Now, I would love for Kell Brook to take that challenge after the Golovkin fight. But man, after watching Errol Spence perform like this, it's hard to see Kell Brook saying, oh, I'll fight him. Yeah, sure, I'll fight him. I don't see it. I don't see it. I truly believe, and I know this sounds crazy, but I truly believe that Kell Brook, in his heart, he believes he has a better chance beating Gennady Golovkin than beating Errol Spence. I truly believe that. And you know, honestly, out of all the welterweights, I truly believe that Kell Brook, 
he would be Errol Spence's most difficult challenge. Now, I would still lean towards Errol Spence to win the fight, but I believe that out of all the welterweights right now, Kell Brook would be uh, Errol Spence's toughest challenge. But, of course, we have to see what happens in this Golovkin fight because if uh, Kell Brook goes out like Amir Khan, he may never be the same again. So that would obviously change my perception of how good Kell Brook is or how much of a challenge he would be going up against the truth, Errol Spence. But back to Keith Thurman, you know, um, like I said, I truly believe that Keith Thurman, he he's not in a hurry to jump in there with Errol Spence, but I believe out of all the welterweights, Keith Thurman may be the only welterweight that's willing to get in the ring with him, at least out of all of the top welterweights. I could be wrong. You know, I could be surprised. Who knows? Maybe Danny Garcia will surprise the hell out of me and he'll jump in there. But I believe that's highly unlikely. The way he's talking, I believe that's highly unlikely. You know, once again, when it comes to Keith Thurman, he said, if you guys listen to the clip, he said, you know, I'm still trying to figure out who's going to be the first person to get in there with him. You know, it's funny when you hear someone say something like that because it reminds me of scenes in movies where, you know, there's two guys and they have to jump across some big ass cliff or something where it's dangerous as hell and they looking at each other like well you go first no you go first that is what Errol Spence is right now he's this dangerous steep ass cliff that you have to jump off so I understand these welterweights taking their time when it comes to facing Errol Spence because like I keep telling you guys I truly believe just like Errol Spence's nickname he is the truth and I don't see any welterweights beating him. I don't see any welterweights beating Errol Spence right now. I think to really build up a Spence versus Keith Thurman fight, it would be pretty cool to see Thurman, if Thurman could get someone like Danny Garcia in the ring next, which probably won't happen because I think Danny Garcia would prefer to fight Andre Berto next. But if Thurman could get Garcia in the ring, and the winner of that fight faces the man that should be the IBF welterweight champion by then, Errol Spence, that would make for some Leonard, Hagler, Hearns, Duran type of action in the welterweight division. This is the reason why, you know, a fighter in the welterweight division, whoever is the last man standing after they all face off, is clearly pound for pound top three one of the best fighters in the world so let's see what Keith Thurman has to say about Errol Spence's performance and we'll take it from there that's all I got for now I'm on to the next one this is Bobby and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation